Hello, welcome to Walter Limited. I'm James. Thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to talk a little bit more about what's going on my shelves or what's been on my shelves that you may have already noticed and why these things are important to me. Welcome to my next Lego showcase. Oh, that was really good. Shout out to my friend Emily for the uh, shirt that she gave me at Brick Slopes this last year. You're my hero. Hopefully someday I can be as cool as you. Likely, you've seen some incredible builds come out in the last couple years with the remake of the El Dorado Fortress and the reimagining of the Black Seas Barracuda. Both of these are incredible builds. Pretty much everything in my collection gets taken apart and turned into something else eventually. These two builds so far have survived any thought of taking them apart. I keep coming to them and thinking, man, I could put something else in that space. But then I look at them and I'm like, those are too cool. I, I'm not ready to take them apart yet. That's the modern take on pirates. And objectively, it is incredible and way better than what we've gotten previously. Even with the nostalgia goggles on from the 90s when I was a kid, the stuff today is just so much better. It blows it out of the waters. There's just really no competition, if we're honest. That's fine. That's good. They're incredible from a from a technical build standpoint, from a detail standpoint, from a figure printing standpoint. Pretty much in every way, these sets just toast everything that we got in the 90s. But that doesn't mean that I don't still love some of those things that I got in the 90s. Let me talk a little bit about them. Here we have Saber Island 6265, which is one of the very first pirate sets that I got, and I actually by happenstance ended up with two of them because I had purchased one and then I got another one for a present from a relative who didn't know I already had a copy, but that was okay with me. I used them like forts protecting the entrance to a harbor because I was never able to get the El Dorado Fortress. But these ones, I spent hours, plenty of room to play in them, good selection of figures, just all around great. And, and these island printed base plates, they'll never get old. I don't have any full sets out of these guys, but these Islanders are just awesome. This was an incredible addition to the Pirates line. This canoe, to me, with the stickers, the chief, his guards, really represents everything that I've ever liked about the Islanders. Kind of a pretty innovative theme for its time and really added a new dimension to the conflict between the pirates and the royals or pirates and the imperials. It, it added that third kind of wild card faction that made things really interesting and, and really gave you a lot of opportunity. Other things that I have here are just, I mean, little mini builds basically. This one was a set, but this tiny raft, just fun. Only a few pieces and really I, I loved builds like this as a kid because they were quick and easy to build, but you could do almost limitless things with your imagination with them. This guy could be stranded. This guy could be leading a sneak attack. This guy could be out fishing, any number of things. The volley gun or repeating rifle or whatever you want to call it. I don't care what you're into. That is a fun little piece of Lego. And then of course, you've got to have the one female pirate on display. Thankfully, we've got a lot more pirates of the female persuasion now in the more modern sets, but this was the one. Really though, the crown jewel of my Lego collection is this one, Skull's Eye Schooner. I've had it for close to 30 years now. Love it, absolutely love it. And the great thing is, I was able to get this one as a kid, took a lot of saving, took a lot of uh, work, and I loved it. I played the crap out of it, but it still looks pretty great. Like, this set, pretty durable. There, there's a little bit of yellowing on some of the pieces, but the sails look almost new. But really, what I love most about this set that makes it an all-timer is at one point, just after I'd come out of my dark age, when I pulled stuff out to play with the kids, my wife saw the instructions for this set, while well, I was uh, out of the country with the army and she sent me a message and said, hey, would you mind if I built this? Because it looks really cool. She didn't know what she was signing up for. You know, these, these builds um, from the 80s and 90s are not the same type of builds that we get today. They're a little less sturdy, a little bit more complicated and the instructions didn't give you the call-out boxes necessarily and a 
complete list of all the things that you would need for every step and didn't highlight the things that you would need for each step even. So you had to kind of go through and figure it out. So my wife who hadn't done much Lego in her life jumped in in one of the hardest things that she could choose, but she also fell in love with it at that point. And I think still to this day, this ranks as her favorite Lego set ever. I'll have to confirm that with her. For that reason, I love it even more because I loved it as a kid. And then it got my wife to start enjoying my hobby with my kids as I came out of my dark age. So really, there is nothing better than the Skull's Eye Schooner in my mind when it comes to Lego. So it'll get a place of pride in my display from now until who knows when. I don't even know if I'll ever take it apart again, except if it's to take it apart to build it because it's a lot of fun. Let's take a trip over to the shelves in the other room to see which ones are gonna go on that display. Yeah, the last time we were over here, uh, we added the castle sets here and the forestman sets down here. So today, we're gonna put the pirate sets into their new spot. Now, of course, with the size of this shelf and the height of those uh, sails, especially on the Black Seas Barracuda shipwreck and the Skull's Eye Schooner, those, of course, are not fitting in here. Skull's Eye Schooner will remain in the other room in the backdrop, and I'll show you in a few minutes where the Pirates of Barracuda Bay and the El Dorado Fortress remake are gonna go. Here we have Saber Island. I'm gonna put it up here, kind of in the corner, as the focal point for this corner display of pirates. Their friend, the rowboat, is gonna go down below. We'll take my Islander's canoe and put them up here. I love those guys. I can't tell you how much I love those Islanders. And then the two small pirate builds and the lady pirate will go right there in front. That's what we got there. The one other thing that I wanted to stick up here is the Castaway Ray, just because it's such a great set, and it has that perfect abandoned island, stranded on an island vibe to go with the pirate stuff, kind of ramshackle and a mess. So I'm going to put that one right up here next to my pirates. That's another one that I keep thinking about taking apart, but I just can't bring myself to do it. This is where we get El Dorado Fortress slid in right there. The, the small ship that comes with it has space to one side and the rowboat can sneak up on the other side. I really like this one. It's excellent. Lots of play value. You can take it apart and rearrange it a ton of times. I'm sure many of you have seen full reviews on that. But uh, this one is the perfect reimagining of a set that I always wanted as a kid, but never could get a hold of. And then of course, you gotta put the tall one on top. Pirates of Barracuda Bay goes right here on top of the shelf. This thing is excellent. This is my preferred style to display it in because I do have the Skull's Eye Schooner up in my backdrop that gives me the classic pirate ship look. And this shipwreck just looks so good. And uh, you probably notice if you look closely that there are several extra figures in here. A couple of uh, like CMFs or build a mini figure or there was a gift with purchase that was the pirate playground. Those two made it into here. So uh, it's, it's definitely been supplemented along the way with some extra figures, but this thing is just fantastic and has so much play value. I love it. At some point it might switch back over to the Black Seas Barracuda, but I don't know when that's going to be because I think so highly of this. If I do want to switch it over to the Black Seas Barracuda, I've got all the parts right here to make that happen. Usually I take stuff apart and it goes into my collection and gets used to build other things, but these parts... With this one this may be a set that stays together for a long long time and it also may be a set that even if it does get pulled apart will stay sorted away from the collection so that i have it to build just as it is at some point we'll see maybe sometime i will want to do a pirate mock and need a lot of these pieces but for now pirates of barracuda bay one of the best sets LEGO has ever produced. The Skull's Eye Schooner is gonna keep a place of honor here for a long time because I love it, but even more importantly, my wife loves it. And the family that LEGOs together stays together or something like that. Is there anything like El Dorado Fortress or Barracuda Bay that you think of from the Pirates line that could use a remake that would be equally awesome? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a good one.